Hello and welcome to the Scatterville channel and today everyone we just got some revealed details of the brand new GTX Titan P. P standing for Pascal since this is the Pascal version of the GTX Titan. And if you thought we already had enough from the crazy performance of the GTX 1080 then prepare to be blown away because sources claim that this new GTX Titan P can be up to 50% faster than the GTX 1080. And that's just way too fast in my opinion. But anyways, let's talk about that. Anyways everyone, the GTX Titan P will be Nvidia's next upcoming high-end graphics card that's going to be about at the $1,000 price range and it's supposed to take on 4K gaming at full blast. From the specs that have been revealed so far, it looks like this card is definitely shaping up to be the fastest graphics card we've ever seen. Anyways, as for confirmed specs of what we could see on this new GTX Titan P, it looks like this card is going to be running off of the GP100 or GP102 chipset, which obviously is different than the GP104 chipset that is present on the 1080 and 1070. This is going to have up to 3840 CUDA cores which is a whole lot more than what is present on the 1080. And as for RAM, this is actually going to be different than the 1080. We're going to be seeing up to either 12 gigabytes or 16 gigabytes of HBM2 RAM, which in turn is about 50% faster in terms of bandwidth than the GDDR5X RAM that is present on the 1080. If you're just wondering about numbers for how fast this RAM could be, this new HBM2 RAM could achieve up to 480 gigabytes in bandwidth, which is crazy fast. So this is probably the question you guys are all wondering, how fast could this new card be? Well, looking at how this card is not just an upgraded version of the 1080, it's a brand new card. It has a whole lot more CUDA cores, a lot more transistors, obviously much better and faster RAM at a higher capacity, and obviously a different chipset. So this is an entire new card while still being based off of the Pascal platform. And it's not just an upgraded 1080, it's an entire new card. So performance for this, I definitely could see it achieving some very high numbers when it comes to games and benchmarks. So assuming that this card is 50% faster than the 1080, it looks like we could be gaining a Fire Strike score of about 32,742, which is roughly about 10,000 points over the 1080 score of 21,828 a 3D Mark 11 score of 41,525, which is about 14,000 points over the 1080, a Fire Strike Ultra score of 7,479, which is about 25,000 points over the 1080, and this isn't even including the potential overclock clock speed of this card. Who knows, this card could be running at 2,000 megahertz right out of the box as the base clock speed, so potential performance for this graphics card is I think will be really high in terms of what it can achieve. So what does this mean for the gaming world and for Nvidia? Well, it looks like we're finally gonna stumble upon the first ever 4K gaming card that can run 4K by itself just on one card single-handedly. On the 1080, we were almost there. The 1080 was close to running 4K games at ultra settings at a fluid frame rate of 60 frames per second, but it wasn't quite there. So it looks like with this new NVIDIA GTX Titan P, that is going to be the card that will single-handedly, just with a single card itself, be able to run any game at 4K ultra settings 60 FPS. So it looks like we finally reached that point of a single graphics card running that sort of performance. Anyways though, make sure to like, favorite, subscribe and all that, and this is the Skyroll Channel signing out.